Your sexpert is in. I'm Trish, and on today's episode, we are going to be talking about food and sex. That's why I'm dressed as a pineapple, but you can't really see. It's very sad, pineapple. If you're not familiar with this show, Sex Birth, then I highly recommend you subscribe right now. And hey, who knows, you might learn something on the way. Basically, I'm going to give you four facts about each week's theme. This week's theme is food and sex. Last week's theme was role playing. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. And I will be announcing the fact of that on this episode. But it's my job to try and fool you, or just trick you and test you, which is basically the whole point of this show, to see what you know about sex. So many people have been tweeting me and leaving comments below in this video saying, I actually learned something, who knew? And that's the whole point of this show. It's a fun, interactive game. So you guys ready to play? Let's go. Fact number one, contrary to popular belief, oysters are actually not the best aphrodisiacs. Yep, pineapples are. They make your skin smell sweeter and they release pheromones that trigger sexual attraction. That's actually where Pineapple Express got the title from. Fact number two, eating a heavy meal before jumping in the sack will actually make your man last longer. However, it will also make him fart louder. Fact three, red dyes that are found in strawberries and fruit drinks will actually lower your libido. And not to mention it'll make your smile look like Bill Compton's smile after a Sunday brunch. And your fourth and final food and sex fact is this. Women in a recent poll have said they prefer sushi over sex. Make sure you weigh in, not only if you think this is the actual fact, but your overall thoughts. Ladies, I want to know. So that concludes my four facts for this week's episode of Sexpert Food and Sex. Remember, only one is actually a fact, the rest are lies. So let me know in the comments below what you think is a fact and why. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe to Door 3 for more Sexpert episodes or one of their other fabulous game shows that they have throughout the week. Also, follow them on Twitter at official Door 3 to win some actual prizes. And don't forget to tune in next week to see which one was an actual fact and for another fun, themed, filled, educational sex bird. I'm gonna go, guys, but remember, play sexy. Stay safe and be naughty. Bye guys. So a lot of you guessed last week's fact correctly and that is 70% of men and women have fantasized about someone else during sex, having participated in the actual role playing, which is the truth that was the fact from last week. So feel completely normal if you or your partner have thought about someone else during sex. It's totally normal, it's totally fun, it's totally healthy. It's fine, you're in the majority.